Dear Make-A-Wish, no words can describe the incredible gift that you have given our family. We are still walking on air, even though our Oregon adventure is behind us. You know, I truly didn't realize how much we needed to get away as a family until now. And I cannot thank you enough for making this possible. What a difference you have made. We feel restored, rejuvenated, filled with hope, and ready to push the play button on life again. I'm Jill, I'm the proud mother of two boys, Murphy, who's a new teenager, and Kellen, who's 11 years old now. He brings so much joy. He's really compassionate. He's really funny. You know, I'm his mother, but I think he's like so good looking. Both of the boys are. Kellen's nice and funny. He likes to do outdoor stuff. He's so full of life. Well, I think strength. You need strength to overcome challenges in your life. And bravery to stick through it. I was in the Marine Corps, and maybe we drove upon that, and just the, just the family support. He had 100% support behind him. I want to be a Marine, because my dad was a Marine. You know, as parents, we want to give our kids everything we can. My husband can... Um, you know, he, he never says it can't be fixed. He fixes everything. But when Kellen got sick, this was something that Kelly couldn't fix. Kellen asked me to take him to the doctors because he was seeing double. You know, Kellen would do anything, I mean anything, not to go to any type of doctor's appointment. And the eye doctor told us that his, um, his optic nerves were swollen. And they told us to get him immediately to the neurologist. First thing Wednesday at seven o'clock, the doctor called the neurologist and asked us to meet him in the office. They immediately sent us to Arnold Palmer. And on Thursday at 7 in the morning, Kellen underwent a nine-hour operation to have a brain tumor the size of an orange removed from the top of his brain. Kellen's tumor wasn't benign. It was cancerous. Kellen had a very rare tumor. There's only four or five recorded in the world, and it's called ectomesynctomoma. There's no protocol for treatment. I still today can't even pronounce the name of the tumor I had. And on December 23rd, we went to see a specialist in Gainesville right before Christmas. And as we drove there, looking out the window, it was just hard to believe. It was absolutely hard to believe that there were Christmas lights. And there were celebrations going on when we were in so much pain. Kellen, during the treatment, you know, he took it better than anybody, I think. He knew what he had to do, and he never complained. And we're all trying to hold it together, saying, you know, this is what you got to do. And he's like, OK. And uh, he went through it and got it done. Kellen started chemo on January 1st, 2009, and it was grueling. We sent Murphy to Pittsburgh, we sent Murphy with friends, we sent Murphy with neighbors, and it was just, um, it was so hard for him to understand everything happening, but we didn't understand it either. When Kellen got sick, I didn't really know what was going on. I thought, like, he'd be all right or didn't know it was that serious. We had like three different segments. We had the surgery and recovery. Then we went into uh, chemotherapy, uh, which was a whole other segment. Um, he started doing rehabilitation. And then we had to go and do radiation therapy. So it was pretty much a full three quarters of a year. When I was sick and in bed, my dad was telling me about when he was growing up in Oregon. I told him what I did when I grew up. And, uh, and I guess it, he wanted to go and experience it. He spoke a lot about growing up as a child in Oregon and how absolutely beautiful it was and how pristine the mountains were and the lakes were so cold and um, how you could drive anywhere, look right or left, and see just absolutely beautiful scenery. Well, I thought that, that was really cool and I wanted to go there. After treatment was over, we had our first post-treatment MRI and I swear we held our breath for 24 hours. We were told that the scans were clear, that, um, that the radiation and um, all the treatment that he had worked. And um, that's when Marlene, Kellen's nurse, um, told us about Make-A-Wish. 
the people at Make-A-Wish, uh, they were unbelievable. They came one evening, um, we had the family around, we met them, they brought a gift for Kellen. We have the distinct pleasure in uh, getting to know the family and the Wish child and helping them kind of de-stress and relax together as a family to uh, have this wonderful wish come true for the child. This is the first time in, in eight months that Kelly and I sat downstairs and held hands on the couch that wasn't in a doctor's office. <laughs> and it was also the first time in months that we heard laughter coming from Kellen's room. And uh, we were kept totally in the dark uh, as far as what was going on up there. And then they uh, said, okay, they got all their notes and they're gonna make the wish happen. For my first wish, it was very exciting. Uh, Kellen is a man's man and he knew exactly what he wanted to do and he wanted to go on a camping trip to Oregon. And somewhere, somewhere along the coast of Oregon in that 24-foot RV, the Walden family started living again. And Make-A-Wish did that for us. We just started to act more like a family and not more worried or anything. The best part was uh, the fishing trip. And the guide told us that no one's caught anything for weeks, but when we got out there, like within five minutes, we caught something. You know, everything was magical. Um, every night we, we had hot dogs around a campfire that we made and we ate s'mores. Um, we slept in late and we weren't sleeping for months. Um, we woke up um, and, you know, by the sunlight, we laughed. We played games, we took hikes. The planning process for that particular wish was exciting for all of us because the family was so excited about it. You know, we had a lot of doctor's bills. We had a, a lot of doctor's bills and um, we never would have been able to take this trip. But they paid for everything. They forget and they enjoy and have fun and relax. And then when they get back, I think it's more about, okay, I can get through this day and the next and the next. But my sons, what I did for summer vacation report wasn't about seizure medication and, and, and doctor's office and surgery and chemo or radiation. My son wrote about fishing in the coldest lake that he's ever been in and seeing snow on the top of the mountains even though it was in August. And my son wrote about the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time he had. Our family was broken and we didn't know it. Make-A-Wish helped us make sure our laughter outweighed our fears and Make-A-Wish gave us hope. If I had to say something to people make a wish, I'd say thank you for making my wish come true. When I look back upon this adventure, I am so filled with gratitude. For us, this is our new starting point. It seems that you have provided our entire family with this incredible foundation to move forward. We are looking at life a bit differently now, and thanks to your kindness, the view is spectacular. Jill Murphy Walden, proud mother of Callan and Murphy.